Hello, Aaron. Thank you for being with us. Can you tell us more about Riot Secure and the use cases we are presenting today? Sure thing. So Riot Secure has developed a lifecycle management system for resource constrained devices, uh, specifically using the Arduino MKR family of devices. And Scandinavian Airlines, uh, ground service handling, is our customer in this use case, uh, where we have the solution deployed. And what were you trying to fulfill for Scandinavian Airlines with your design? So the ground service handling division within Scandinavian Airlines has a requirement where they need to track the location of the vehicles on the tarmac uh, so they can assist with the billing of services to the customers they provide their, the vehicles to, in addition to uh, also enforcing safety and security protocols uh, that exist within the tarmac. Uh, as an example, uh, we have geofencing boundaries that would prevent a vehicle from entering a forbidden zone uh, if there is a plane at a certain, as a specific gate. And as a requirement for that, we need to ensure that we can push firmware updates over the air uh, in real time uh, to the entire fleet of vehicles uh, at the same time. And Aaron, can you please describe the, the, the action and processes carried out by the solution? Yep. So our solution actually involves a multi microcontroller solution uh, where we have two microcontrollers, one specifically for performing a task such as the safety and security and geofencing uh, and a secondary microcontroller specifically required for network communications and security. Uh, so the task microcontroller will then talk to the various GPIOs, uh, the various UARTs of all the different sensors we have connected, do a lot of processing and when needed it would send information via the network component uh, up to the cloud and then would also receive the same messages that may say turn the, turn the vehicle off or do some specific actions required for the safety and security. I see and what Arduino products did you use? So we utilize the Arduino MKR family of devices uh, primarily because of the fact that it provides a modular approach to providing different network communication topologies. Uh, so we have Wi-Fi, we have 3G, we have MB-IoT uh, in addition to that, we also utilize the secure element uh, on the device, which gives us a route of trust uh, that allows us to ensure that the keys can be exchanged during the enrollment process uh, in a secure and trustworthy manner. Is there anything special you had to do to customize the solution? Uh, yes, while the Arduino products in general are excellent out of the box, they work. Uh, we did actually have to utilize FreeRTOS uh, as our foundation. Uh, because we had to have a, a robust environment that allowed us to do multi-threading, uh, utilize watchdog timers and so forth, uh, such that we could actually ensure that the device could constantly communicate. And part of that process also involved us completely rewriting a lot of the underlying network libraries to ensure there was always a timeout available and so to ensure that nothing would lock up, uh, which unfortunately uh, does happen in some open source projects. Uh, but by all means, the solutions available from Arduino for most developers uh, is perfect. Uh, we just had to do some extra um, modifications for security and robustness. Oh yeah, it makes total sense. And what benefits did your end customer achieve with this solution? Yeah, so prior to us providing this new solution to the customer, uh, they required physical access uh, to the um, telematics and Arduino environment they had installed that required us to go in, open up the device, plug a USB cable in, and hope that the electrician put it back together correctly. Uh, and what's the result now is that we can basically update the entire fleet of devices uh, with a click of a button through our management console. Uh, so it's basically it's more cost effective and more efficient for the, for the end user. And how does your customer build on top of your solution? I mean, did you think about developers too? Absolutely. I mean, one of the benefits we provided in our solution was a separation of context. Uh, so we focused on networking while the, we allowed the developer of the solution to focus on the thing and the process. Uh, the great thing with this is the developers who build on top of our platform can utilize the Arduino IDE out of the box and simply target the appropriate microcontroller just that is compatible with the CPU that's in, installed on the, the boards and simply export the binary and upload that firmware into our system and deploy it directly to the devices. 
And are you planning to support more customers and, and how do you plan to do so? Uh, absolutely. We have a number of discussions ongoing with customers and it all comes down to what microcontroller best suits the needs for their solution. Uh, so our solution is not just AVR based, uh, we also have drivers to support any SWD based interface such as ARM, uh, Nordic Semiconductor, NXP. Um, and we even support a much more inferior microcontroller such as the PIC-18, which is very old, but there is a customer out there using it. Uh, but, but definitely we, we have large plans to support as many microcontrollers as possible. Very good. Thank you, Aaron, for your time and see you soon. Absolutely. My pleasure. And always happy to come down to Milan and Turin. <laughs>